can see the light. Right there. Oh my gosh, it looks like the eclipse! Ah! Hilarious! Say hi to the snap, YouTube! Thought I'd wear my DeFi t-shirt today because it's the first day of recruitment and I'm so excited. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah and this week I have for you a Jew, no, an August, yeah, an August favorites. And I know the past Friday I was uh, a bit incognito because, well, as you can see, I have a bit of a new setup and I have some brand new lighting. Thank the good gods above because your girl needed some new lighting because all I was using was natural lighting. So the past two weeks have been awful, awful weather. So every time I wanted to film, it was like, it looked like nighttime outside. So I was just like sitting in the dark trying to film. And it's like, this ain't gonna work. I could not film the video last week, unfortunately, to due to the weather. So now that I have a new, and I w I'd already ordered a new light to fix that problem. So I wouldn't have to worry about the weather anymore. And I could just do it like I'm doing now at 9.49 p.m. Plus your girl's back in school, so she has a bit more of a tight schedule. Um, so thank you so much for coming back to my channel um, after last week's non-apparent, so I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into the favorites. I have a couple of fashion favorites, and like last time I have a bit of everything, but my first thing is a fashion favorite, and that is this jean jacket. And I know this is literally such like a, it's a jean jacket. Like, you wear that all the time. Well, it's my favorite this particular month. It has been a favorite of mine because um, August has been somewhat of a colder month in Virginia, I would say. Like, obviously still hot weather. But there have been times where I would need to wear this because inside it was either really, really cold or outside it was, like, rainy or whatever. Um, and obviously I would wear, like, a rain jacket. But with this jean jacket, it is such a staple for fall as well and transitioning from uh, summer into fall. So I thought this would be also a great piece to go into September with as well. But it's just been a really great piece to style. Um, it's super comfortable. It's a good length. It's not too long, not too short. And this particular jean jacket is from H&M. I love the wash of it as well. It's just a very nice, a very nice jean jacket. And it's just one of those pieces that Every, everyone has in their closet, but I just thought I would bring it into a favorites just because I've been really wearing it a lot, I would say. It's just a good piece to have for the transition into hot to go. So. But my next thing is a jewelry favorite, and it's this really like, there, oop, there we go. It's this like really dainty, um, necklace with these three pearls and a gold chain and I absolutely love necklaces like these where it's so where they're so like just tiny and simple and just really minimal and you can wear with absolutely anything you can wear with a t-shirt like I'm wearing like what like I'm wearing now you can wear it now and look you really loving it this month because well I love it I love this thing regardless of what month it is, but really though, I wear this a lot and I thought I would pop it in a favorites as well. I just wear it all the time. It's just a great necklace. These three pearls represent my mom. Uh, she gets me and my sister these pearls each. We add on a pearl each time each birthday for, from since we were 16. So I'm 19, so 16, 17, 18. So really I should get a new pearl, but um, I got I got this as like a growing up gift, I guess you could say. And you stop putting pearls, and my mom would stop putting pearls on the necklace when I get married. So it's my mom, her necklace, she has one of these too, but hers is like, up to here. She got married when she was like 30, so she has like a lot of pearls on it, and it's so gorgeous. Um, they are real, and I just think it's such a sentimental piece as well, um, and I love that uh, it's got some kind of history behind it. I just love that necklace very much. Alright, so my next favorites are some beauty favorites, and we have... Just a couple of things. My first thing is this uh, mascara, the Too Faced Better, yeah, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and this is a little 
uh, travel slash sample size that I got from Sephora because my Sephora Beauty Insider card, I think that's what you call it, I had a lot of points so I could like buy something for free and it was pretty cool. But it, yeah, this mascara, oh my word. I've never actually owned a high-end mascara like this. Like, this is the very first. And it's only a sample size. Like, <laughs> that's how bad I am about it. Like, I just like, well, I always run out of mascara so quickly. But this, I, I love it so much. I'm willing to pay full price for this thing. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of more mascaras out there that are high-end that are probably the same quality, I guess. But this one... I just, I really love it. I love how big the brush is, and I, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, am I wearing falsies? I don't know. You can't tell because this mascara is freaking great. It just makes your lashes very full, very long, longer than they actually are. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, usually I always have to wear eyeliner because my, my eyes are just already so, like, I guess small. I'm not really sure what the word is. I wear just mascara. It just looks very round and I always have to wear like a wing just kind of give my to give my eyes more of some you know pop I guess. <laughs> but this it honestly it makes my lashes so long and so voluminous that I don't need eyeliner anymore and it's just so so nice to not have to do a cat eye all the time. I mean, regardless of whether my eyes look big or not, I still would sometimes wear just mascara, but now I wear just mascara a lot more often. I think it's definitely worth the price. I'm not exactly sure what the retail price for this is, but I know it's over $10, but I'm willing to pay it. All right, so my next favorite is this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, and it's for combination oily to oily, combination oily to oily skin, and that is definitely, definitely my skin range. Um, I definitely have a oily to combination -y dry skin sometimes. It just varies. And I, th I've, oh my goodness, I've had this moisturizer before, but in like a very tiny bottle. So I only got to use it for like a couple of days because it was like a travel, it was like a sample size or something. And now that I have a, kind of a bigger thing, I've been using it more. And girl, I've heard of very good things about these or about this on uh, other YouTube channels and how amazing this moisturizer is but I've also noticed that the other that sometimes people um will get like the moisturizer to their skin like what kind of skin they have I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin because here of late I've been using some like acne gels and stuff like that to help my skin to clear up and it really really dries out your skin and I have oily skin and it still dries my skin out. So when I use this, it really, really helps it not to overly moisturize to where I have excessively oily skin, but it also makes it to where, um, it just makes it to where my skin is very soft, um, and smooth and not too oily. And it's just a really great, it's a really great moisturizer to put on right before your makeup as well, because once you put it on, it's on for good and it's not going to leave your face, um, that like sticky jelly feeling. It leaves your skin feeling ready to put and, and it's like safe to put makeup on and foundation on. So yeah, great moisturizer. Been loving it very much. My next beauty favorite is this single Milani. Oh my gosh, I really hope I didn't put this in my last favorite video. I don't think I did. If I did, sorry. I still love it. <laughs> it's a single um, Milani eyeshadow in the shade Bella Chiffin. And on my word, this is like most, one of my most favorite, uh, sorry, just like, ugh, I just spit. But it's one of my most favorite, um, favorite eyeshadow colors ever. Like, it's just absolutely amazing. I put, I pop some of this in my inner corner and I also pop it, pop it like right on my brow bone right there. And as you can see, I've already hit pan, which I don't think it's, it's ever happened to me. <laughs> With eyeshadow <laughs> especially a single one like I hardly ever use singles I was just like forget about them like they're in my makeup drawer just sitting there just like oh how about you guys all right I'm gonna swatch here real quick for you it's just absolutely gorgeous and it's very pigmented I don't know if you can see that very well but it is such a gorgeous color for like fair skin and you want to have something as a as a good natural inner corner and 
brow bone highlight and um, if you can see that it has sort of um, a golden pinky undertone but it's still like a um, white I want to say fluorescent I think that's the right word fluorescent or like I don't know it's just such it's such a gorgeous color and when it goes on the skin it just really gives it a natural glow and I just I'm really obsessed with it also, I can put this, like, I can dab it, like, on my nose and on my cheeks, and it acts as a highlighter. Like, it just kills three birds with one stone, if you know what I mean. It's a great eyeshadow. Alrighty, for my last beauty favorite is a fragrance. Hang on. I feel, I hear people. Oh, sure. You want to say hey? Hey. Hello. Hello. This is my brother. Go watch his YouTube videos, Dusty Vengeance. Racer, dude. No. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to like hit you in the throat there. <laughs> Just kidding. That was kind of close. Cut that out, okay? <laughs> Probably not. So my next beauty fit, or my last beauty favorite, is a fragrance. And well, I just wanted to show you how much I've been loving this. Is that I have got, I've had this for sort of a while, uh, a couple of months. Oh my word, I got another one! Yay! Because this is out! I only have just a little bit left. And it was like a little travel size. It was like $3 at Walmart. And, um, alright, let me tell you what it is first. Because I've just been ugh, not YouTubing very well. Okay, but yeah, it's a fragrance. And it's the Vanilla Fragrance uh, by Body Fantasy. <laughs> by Body Fantasies. And it, it, I think it's just like a, a, a brand that they sell at Walmart or drugstores. I don't know if you've ever tried this before. Or like this brand but I smell their stuff and it's like oh my gosh it smells amazing mm. and it's just so good it's just pure vanilla like it's just I have people ask me like oh what is that it smells good I'm like girl it's vanilla and it's amazing and I love it also I also like this stuff a lot because when you spray it on it stays on you put it like on like when you spray it all over you and everything and it's like getting your clothes like the next time you wear the shirt or whatever you sprayed it on you can still smell it and then people like when you're walking by they're just like mm, what's that vanilla body fantasies and go buy it it's great and i'm done talking about this for my next thing my next favorite i should say uh i guess lifestyle favorite is this candle bergamot and suede from bath and body works and oh my gosh but um, I just really have been loving this candle a lot. I've been burning it a lot. It sits right there on my nightstand and I'll burn it and it's like the most amazing smell that it leaves in my room. It's like a uh, men's cologne but with bergamot and suede. Just kidding. Um, but it's like Oh, I don't know. I am the worst at uh, describing scent. Honestly, I want to say it has a bit of vanilla in it, but it's like a man's fa fragrance. But it smells flower flowery. Is that a word? Flowery? It's very fresh. That's a good word. It's a very fresh um, scent, and it smells like a flower just bloomed. Oh, that grew vanilla and Ralph, Polo, Ralph Lauren. Honestly, I just think that's how it smells. So yeah. So for my last, no, my second to last favorite is also another lifestyle favorite. And it's really random, but it's my alarm clock. I just got it a couple weeks ago with my friend Darius. Because we went shopping and we had a ball. It was a very fun time. And this was the last alarm clock because he wanted it to... But he was like, no, nah, girl, you got it. You can get it. It's fine. And I was like, okay, I'll get it because I need a new alarm clock. Because the old one that I had, whenever it would go off, you know, when the alarm would go off, it was so loud and annoying and it literally made me grumpy <laughs> because it was so loud. And my sister's room is like right next to mine as well. So it would always like wake her up and annoy her as well. And I was just like, okay, it's time to say goodbye and get a new alarm clock. I went on a risk with this one. I thought it was cute. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to try it out. And because I did not obviously know how the alarm was going to sound because the other one was like, ha, ha, ha. This was like, da -da 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 but anyways, 
it's just I just really like it and you can it's got Bluetooth so it's like a, this is like a speaker right here and I wish I could plug it up for but it's not long enough for me to reach I just I've been really enjoying this it's just so much more nicer and it's not as annoying and obnoxious and loud and oh it's also a charger I forgot about that don't think I would ever actually use it just because my charger is way over there and I'm I just don't think I would need it, but still, that's really cool. Thanks, Capello. So, for my last favorite of the month is my music favorite. And if you all must know, I am a musical theater major. I'm sure half of you guys knowing, half of you guys watching this know that because you go to my school, Aram College. Hey, repping. But yeah, I am a musical theater major, and I'm constantly listening. I should be, let's just say this, I should be constantly listening to like new musicals, new, just new music. So this musical that I've been listening to here of recently is called Dear Evan Hansen. And if y'all, whoever is watching this, if you guys are a theater buff, if you are a theater person, then you probably know what the, what this musical is about. And you know that it won like the best musical um, for the Tony, Tony Awards this year. And it's just absolutely amazing it's like one of my favorite musicals at the moment and I've been really loving it I've been really loving the musical and I've been really loving the music but here's why it's my favorite for all of you other people that aren't really into theater all that much it is honestly the music is just absolutely amazing I'm not kidding if you are into like really good guitar acoustic e type music this is like a good musical and it's if you're wanting to branch out your music genres go and listen to this musical and some of the songs obviously are a bit more you know <laughs> musical theater but some are actually really like they get you in your feels i'm not even kidding i'm obsessed so if y'all would like just go ahead and check that out i just think it's really great music for anyone who is looking for something a bit different and a bit new but also not so musical theater. All right. Well, that's it. That wraps it up for this month's favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next week for a brand new video and see you later. Bye. And now I think my eyes are going to fall out because I've been staring at this light for way too long.